All right, so as far as storage or organization goes, this is my car not cleaned out, just typical. This is how it's always been. So typically garbage ends up in the cup holders. My water's still there because I just got home, so um, I'm drinking that. Um, there's floss in there. I think there's some more wadded up paper towels in there. And then over here you can see our charger right there. And then the this cord is to play like music or sound from our phone or like an iPod or something like that. Typically here on the door I leave my lint roller because usually when Kuma is leaving for work sometimes he'll need it right before work. So now coming to the second row this is typical of what happens in my car. Papers, trash, toys, everything ends up on the floors, um, underneath my seats on both sides from all the kids, myself, from everyone. These are typically empty. There's nothing in them now. And in the back, the same thing happens with toys on the floor. Usually garbage or stuff, whatever, ends up in these cup holders. So here in the trunk, I usually keep my uh, reusable shopping bags and I have a bunch of them I just keep them all within one large bag so that's usually easy to take if I need to go anywhere even though most of the time I forget to use them and for now my husband has his glove thrown in here and this thing is actually one of those like seat covers for animals and it's usually I don't know why it's not now it's usually hanging up over both sides of these headrests so that way it um, acts as a barrier between the car and other stuff either the dog or groceries and stuff like that this thing here is a little bit of storage and my husband has his frisbee golf frisbees in there and I have a sheet which has been in there for quite a while because this is what I used to lay down um, when I put the seats down for the dog to walk or lay on. I had that stored in there before I bought this thing. Now coming back to the front seat in the glove compartment it is an absolute mess. We have our car manual, um, car maintenance, coupons or tickets or and all that stuff related to the car in this top part of the area. Here we have a seat bolt cutter, a window breaker thing. This is an emergency thing for the car. This part cuts the seat belt. This part breaks the window and I'm not even sure what everything it does. I think it used to be a flashlight as well. So that's there and then I have this. I need to get a good um, first aid kit to keep in the car, but this is what I keep for now. It just has the basic um, alcohol pads, some different size gauze, and band-aids. So that's in here. And then down here is a complete mess. Okay, now the last section is the center console, which I forgot to go over in the beginning. So here's... It opens up and it has this little tray thing for like change and pens and pencils etc. And in here I have my CD case which is actually really small compared to my other CD case and they pretty much have the same exact CDs in both of them and I pretty much have all of these CDs on my iPod so I don't know why I'm still carrying a CD case in my car when I should just bring my iPod and plug that in instead. So that's in here. I am definitely going to put this back in the house and switch it out or something. Um, my GPS is in here, which typically I use my phone, but my husband bought me this as a gift and it's still very good. So we keep that in here as well. And as far as storage space, this is basically what we got. We have an SUV, so we don't have like under seat space or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is clean out all of these areas that need to be cleaned and try to figure out some sort of organizational system.
guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I organize on the inside of my car. There's a few spaces I utilize. Here in the driver's door, I put a small Ziploc with baby wipes, a mini umbrella just in case I get caught in the rain somewhere, a hand sanitizer and an extra hair tie, extra hair clip, facial tissues because a large box wouldn't fit in here, along with some floss and shout wipes to go for those stain emergency. Here in the back side, um, I put this clip here for when I have a car load full of people, I can hang my purse so that way my purse is not sitting on top of me or the passenger while I'm driving. I usually just zip it up so that way Azariah who sits here can't get into it and dig through all my stuff here. I remember to put in an extra pair of shoes for my two youngest babies. Um, they're two and three year old because usually whenever we have to go somewhere, sometimes they sneak out of the house without shoes and I don't realize it until we're already either at my husband's job or somewhere else. So I'm going to keep these in here for just in case. They still have a couple pair of shoes each in the house. Here in the trunk area, I put back the canvas the way it's supposed to be around the head posts and I hung up my shopping bags. Now in this section of the car, I took out that sheet that was in there because I was no longer using it and I left my husband's frisbee in there and I also went ahead and put his baseball glove in there. That way that's stowed away and it won't get in the way in the trunk and things won't fall all over it or ruin it or anything like that. Here in the passenger seat, uh, the second row, I place an extra uh, school supply thing. In this folder I have construction paper just in case they have a project to start or anything like that. In between there I have two books that they can read in case we're not coming straight home or they want to start doing their homework in the car but they forgot a book to read for their weekend reading they can just start reading those I also have a spiral notebook full of blank paper they can tear it along the perforated, perforated edge so that way I'm not worrying about loose leaf papers flying all over the car and my son's math book which is supposed to stay home is in here so he can do that and also a small supply bag with pens, pencils, colored pencils. There's some index cards behind the colored pencils, glue, and a sharpener. I didn't want to put crayons in there because it gets really hot here, especially summer's coming up. Obviously, this stuff won't be in here during the summer, but it gets really hot during the day, and I don't want anything to melt. So now we're in the passenger seat on the front, and I forgot to show you all in the before, but in this little thing, I just keep my sunglasses. That hasn't changed. In the glove compartment, I've emptied it out, neatened it up. In this section, I keep my car maintenance tickets whenever we need to get the oil changed, etc. Our car manual and some bank um, envelopes and deposit slips so when my husband goes to the bank, it's easy right there for him to get to. I have my little emergency thing to cut the seatbelt and bang out the windows just in case. I also have um, a small thing of our car paint to fix up any nicks and scratches. And then this tiny um, travel first aid kit, which I'm actually planning on getting a larger first aid kit that's meant to stay in the car with scissors and gauze and all kinds of stuff. So in this bottom section, I have our flashlight, which you just crank up to charge with this. And it's a flashlight, an alarm, and it's a radio. And it also charges your cell phone or anything you need um, as long as it, it can be charged in that little section. And that's good for emergencies have another umbrella just in case I'm not alone in the car like if my mother-in-law is with me and she doesn't have an umbrella I have that for her. I also have my GPS along with its window mount in here and a plastic bag just in case for those emergencies. Sorry about the lighting it's really bright. 
Um, like if we have wet clothes or anything, I can just put this in here instead of letting it sit on the carpet and getting that all wet and stinky. In this front console area, I have our cell phone charger and my iPod which I took out my CD case because it was large and bulky and most of those songs, if not all, are already on this iPod. This is a very old iPod. I've had this for over eight years, probably nine or ten years I've had this. It's just a four gig iPod, the original kind. And I have our, our line in wire, which is used to play the music from the iPod or also we use it to play music from our cell phone and also to speak, use our cell phone as a wireless um, like car phone to basically listen through the speakers when we're talking to someone on the phone and then speak. So that way we're not holding the phone to our ear while we're driving if we have to take a call. This must be my favorite part of the organization here. This is our center console. And in here I have all those napkins that were in the glove compartment corralled into a Ziploc bag and I have that in there easy access I can't reach the glove compartment while I'm driving so if I need to get a napkin it's right there easy for me to get to I have this spray which smells so good I love to spray the car seats and the floors down and make the car smell fresh I have another larger pack of baby wipes this will be for like if the kids need it in the back or anything it's right here easy for me to hand off to them I put our lint roller in here, and back here I have some bug spray, mosquito repellent, just in case we're out and we need it and we don't have it. We'll have that there. This one's actually almost empty, so I have a spare one here, which is a, a cheaper brand. It doesn't work as well as the off, but just in case. Now here on the inside of the console, door or handle or whatever that's called. I have a couple pens, my chapstick, and a little sticky notepad that we got from church. And this is easy, it's out of the way. This down here also has an extra pen, and I used to keep all the pens in there, but I like that there's a couple here with a notepad just in case anyone needs it. And we usually keep some spare change and stuff in here. So that's all for my car organization. I hope you all enjoyed the little tour. Leave your comments, questions, any suggestions. If you know of any brands or companies that sell car organizational um, things, I would love to check them out and make more use of my space because as my kids grow, I'm going to have more activities to take them to and more things are going to need to be stored in my car. So thank you all so much for watching. You have a great day. Bye.